All right, so I'm gonna do my best here. You guys are in the cab with me. I'm gonna explain how I push snow, especially on a bigger one like this while it's one monster pile. This is a pretty good size one. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push off a few swipes here at the end. This snow is super wet. And we're gonna back up and I'm gonna push, especially because this is wet, I'm gonna push as much forward as I can and not back drag or smear snow going backwards. So I'm gonna come up here as far as I can turn this off to the side here this truck is just working this snow is really heavy all right well, these piles are just so packed i can't even believe this all right there's some snow here all right we're gonna just keep winging it off to the left here that's where all of my snow is going to be piled up first thing you're gonna to want to do when you get to a job before you even start pushing is you should know where you're gonna put the snow because if you don't know where you're gonna put the snow you're gonna be wandering around hardcore so very important know where you're gonna put it come up with a game plan that's step number one but you can always expect to push a little bit off to the edge of the driveway here at the end so I always start there get my game plan together and we push her on over still gonna just keep working this over just pushing the mass of it the bulk of it oh man this is semi crazy semi crazy today keep going Stop there. Push one more off here. Alright, now I'm gonna just keep pushing her off here. Still just worried about the bulk. We're gonna leave some booger trails. We're gonna get those at the end. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so now that it's wet and heavy, you know, the snow is ridiculous. Wow, it's slippery. We're gonna come up here now and then we don't got a back drag so far. I'll just pull some of this back. Try not to drive over my piles too much. Make sure you have your plow adjusted to where you want it when you're pulling up to garage doors. That way you're not moving your plow in front of the garage door. You're going to risk making an error and then hitting the garage door. So if I can be set, drop the plow, that's all I got to do and then just back. That's a piece of cake. A lot less risk that way. Alright, so that's why I just decided to leave that kind of semi-messy and just push the bulk off because now I got more snow here again in front of me. So what I'm going to do hit this thing again now that it's out far enough you should be able to turn it off to the side and push her on down using those mirrors to back up right left rear view right left rear view turn your head to the left when you're coming out onto the road make sure you're just being aware of things. It gets long and fatiguing in the truck, but the more you can get used to using those mirrors, it's gonna save your neck. All right, now we're doing a more detailed run here. I'm actually gonna try to get, oh, I came into the side here. It's really hard to see this. These mirrors are full of water because it's still snowing. Push this up. Yeah. And it might be something where you might have to get out at the end and uh, shovel off a little streak up there or whatever you can see I got some boogers up there on the driveway it's gonna happen it's inevitable Just get out if you can't get it with your truck and shovel it off some people don't care but I think that's what makes a difference between a good plower and a great plower I'm gonna clean up and try to leave that driveway looking as good as you can for sure push here get this one right in front of me oh man I'll just kind of round this out here get the pushing probably this way Hopefully I can get some up in here to the left. I'm gonna shoot 
for it. I'm gonna hit those piles from the other direction here. So now I'm gonna get up here. Normally I'd back drag this, but I'm gonna try to hit it from the side the best that I can. Kettler's gotta get out of the way, get out of the way. Wow. And I'm in the snowbank already. This is just insane. So much snow. It's like you could not have pushed it back far enough. The beginning of the year. I mean, I thought I pushed them back far, but evidently not. And I just can't push. I'm on dirt, on sand. We didn't have any frost this year. Very little. So this is extremely hard to get any bite on. The tires just sink in. Oh. are just full of slush. I can't see nothing. Yeah, I mean, if you can, if you're, yeah, that'd be good. underneath I should say wow all right that's good I'll get I'll get it oh it's just dumping down again this was supposed to be over at like two or three right, back up here quick I should be able to should be able to turn this off to the side here Hey, there's a booger trail in front of the garage. If you didn't hear me. Gave 
her the finger out the window. She figured it out. Not that finger, the pointer finger, guys. Come on. done guys we're gonna get on to the next job here hopefully you guys enjoyed that one good work out there